Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another garden vlog. So today I am out here because I'm needing to do some taming because I have some plants that are kind of going all over, which is good, but also I need to contain a bit. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to start with my tomato area and hold on, by the way, let's have a little commotion for the dress. <laughs> Okay, so this is a new dress that I made. If you didn't know, I make my clothes. A lot of the things that I wear, I have made myself. And this dress is particularly exciting because I thrifted this fabric a very long time ago and I knew that I wanted to do like a shirred dress, but I was too scared to do it for so long. Then I finally did it. And every time I look at this fabric, I just get so happy because it has sunflowers. It has like little seed packets, it has little gloves. It's just very cute. So please enjoy the dress. <laughs> okay, now that I've had that little moment for myself, wearing my garden dress in my garden, come on, it's perfect, right? Anyway, okay, okay. Uh, so come over here with me. Let me show you what's going on with my cherry tomato. So basically, my cherry tomato is very unruly it it might be kind of hard to find in this whole mess but this is my cherry tomato okay this is basil which really needs to be cut back so that i can make um like pesto or something with it and then this whole thing like snaking down onto the ground is watermelon which is a whole other thing i'm realizing that my garden had very little planning as far as like, what am I gonna do with the plants when they actually grow? Because I've never grown plants on this larger scale. I didn't know what to expect. So I, that's my little bit of slack that I'm giving myself for that mistake. But in the future, next time I grow, you know, things that climb and like get really, really big, like any sort of squash or, I was say potato, not a potato. Um, <laughs> pumpkin, watermelon, cantaloupe, those types of things, I will 100% grow them on a trellis to begin with because I put in my trellis kind of late. And the plants have taken to the trellis just fine. You can see it's over there and they're starting to fill, fill in over there. But point is, <laughs> there's a lot that's just growing on the ground, which is fine, but I feel like I could have used my vertical space a lot better. So. It's all a part of a learning experience, you know? This is not my 10th year gardening, it's my first year gardening. The only gardening experience I had prior to this was growing cherry tomatoes in my backyard. <laughs> so there's that. But okay, I need to make a tomato cage. I was gonna go buy one and then I was like, you know what, I have so many cattle panels like sitting around that I might as well just use them to make one. So I have this piece and then I have some more pieces just up at the front. And this is leftover from the fence because not every piece, basically the, the fences were cut into eight foot panels and you know, doing the math, I did have some like leftover small pieces that I couldn't really use for a full fence piece. But I knew that if I kept them, I would have really good use for them. So basically I'm just going to cut it into a square and then reattach it, cut them into panels and then reattach them as squares. I hope that made better sense. Okay, it might have to be a bit of a bigger one as well because this plant is very big. And of course I forgot my shears. I knew I was forgetting something because I wanted to come out and cut back this basil so that I can have a better idea of how big the tomato plant actually is. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna do some like figuring out what I need to do, so just enjoy. <laughs>
my tomato cage is up and this is probably the strongest tomato cage of all tomato cages. <laughs> it's very sturdy and the plant is very big. It's bigger than I expected. Like it goes all the way up to the top here. So that's nice. It's actually two plants I discovered. I forgot that I planted two tomato plants like I don't know, six inches apart, which was very silly. Another thing that I'm learning is that I didn't spread anything out. <laughs> so everything is like packed really tightly. Um, anyway, there's lots of green tomatoes on here and now I can actually see them. But you know what is so exciting? My pumpkins are really growing in. I have quite a few pumpkins to show for and I'm very excited. Um, that white pumpkin though, you guys remember when I showed you the white pumpkin? Okay, it hasn't gone any bigger. It's been like several days. It's the only pumpkin like it. So I don't know if I like planted something like, a, I don't know, a random seed got in that wasn't supposed to be in there. But anyway, <laughs> the rest of the pumpkins growing in look like that. Just like a regular old pumpkin and they're so cute. I have a bunch of them growing in, at least four or five which is really cool. They're all like under this canopy of leaves. I still can't find any other watermelon. Like I really think there is a singular watermelon growing right there. <laughs> right there. I don't know if there's any others. I haven't been able to find them. So maybe if I just get one watermelon, that's okay. We'll just have to see. But anyway, it just looks a lot more tamed. Looks really good. Next year, I'm just gonna spread things out a lot more because look how close all of these tomatoes are. I don't know, rookie mistakes, you know? So now I decided, well, I'm kind of on a kick right now because it's not that hot outside and it like typically has been very hot lately. So I have not been wanting to be out here longer than I needed to be. But these front areas, I have been like sort of collecting plants to put in them. Well, actually I've only collected two plants. <laughs> and they are like really struggling because it's so hot and they need to be in the ground. Um, so I'm gonna try and see if I can clean these areas up. They didn't actually have grass growing in them because I covered it to like kill the grass. And then I waited too long to do something with it. And now the grass is growing back, which is great. So I'm just gonna clear it as best I can. like use my weed whacker to trim down the grass really low and then maybe get my landscape cloth out here again and suffocate the grass again. I don't know. I feel like I need to like till it to like put plants there because it's like super compacted ground. Like it's never been planted in obviously. So I feel like I need to like till it. <sighs> I don't know, man. I really wanted to build like garden beds out here using, you know, wood, just garden bed boom 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 but like just for like flowers and stuff not food because it's outside of the cage so maybe I'll actually just do that um, like just prepare it to start doing that so that I can start planting some flowers because um, I think fall is still a good time to plant to where it's not like super super hot but it's enough time for the plants to like root in and like get ready for winter I don't know I think that's gonna be my project Maybe throughout this week and next week. I don't know, because I'm leaving this Thursday. So I might just get it all prepared, like with the wood and the like landscape cloth so that I can put soil on top and everything and then wait until I get back to like really start planting um, so that the grass has time to like suffocate and then I'll put the soil in. So I'll put the soil in after I get back. Okay, sorry, you don't need to hear all this planning. <laughs> okay. Let's clear it out.
everybody? Welcome to another day of this video. So today we are going to go out to the hardware store because I was doing some research about tools that I can use in the garden area that I'm making, like the new flower beds, um, how I can make them better. <laughs> and I mentioned yesterday that they really need to be like tilled or something because the grass, like there's always been grass there. Nothing else has ever been grown there. So the soil is really packed. Also not to mention it's clay soil, so not good in that regard. But let me see if I can put you down. So in my research, I found something called a cultivator, which is basically just like a garden tool with spikes on the end of it that rotates. So you push it and then as you're pushing it, it digs into the soil and it kind of like pulls things up and whatever else. People use it for weeding as well. So yeah, I actually did try to use my hoop weeder, my hoop hoe, and it didn't really work that well. Like obviously grass is a lot harder to remove with something like that, so I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna try this out. I also wanted to try the pickles with you because I have taken like a bite or two of some of the pickles, but as far as like a full on taste test, haven't really done so. So I'm going to bring out the pickles. I think it's been like five, or six, no, no, not even six days, maybe four, three to five days since I did that. It hasn't been that long. And it said that the pickles, if I did it in spears, they would probably be, probably be ready in like five days. I just took one out to give to Daniel for lunch. And here's what it looks like now. They taste kind of sweet. Like, you know the pickles from the store that are like sweet pickles, sweet dill pickles? That's what they taste like. And I think that maybe they're still like curing and that's why they taste like that. They're like sour like pickles, but still kind of sweet, but it's definitely a pickle. Like could not mistake it for anything besides a pickle. <laughs> so it was a success. Thank goodness. I'd like to try it again as like um, pickle slices, not spears so that I could put it on like sandwiches and everything else, but this is really good. And I think I'm gonna try to bring a jar to my parents so that they can try it too. Because actually when you're seeing this, I'm in Arizona, visiting my family and working and all that kind of stuff, so. Okay, so this is tempting to do as edging instead of the other wood, but I just did the math and I would need to buy nine of them, which would be $90 because I need nine of them, they're $10 each, so. It would probably look really cute, but it would be much more expensive. Uh, I've been talking for a while and my microphone wasn't on, even on, so that's great. Okay. Let's just recap really quick. So I am here at the job site. I've gotten my wood and I got my cultivator. I have no idea how this cultivator is gonna work, but it's been like 24 hours of the, the grass being covered. So maybe some of it might be dead by now, but well, it wouldn't be dead, but not looking like it did yesterday. Um, yeah. I just lost my train of thought. Okay. This is what the cultivator looks like. This is scary. I should sleep next to this thing. It makes a nice little sound as well. But yeah, apparently you just like shove this into the ground and go to town. I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess we'll never know until we try. Well, the grass looks exactly like it did yesterday. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God, no. This is not it. I guess if the ground was already kind of soft, like I guess this would work like in my garden beds. <sighs> but no, you have to press so hard for it to even like get into the ground. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This side is set up. Well, they're both set up, but this side is like ready to be drilled in. Everything 
is perfect. Well, I wouldn't say it's like perfect like puzzle fit, but it's pretty dang close. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, I have decided that I think I'm gonna wait to fill these with soil until later. Maybe, I don't know, because I really wanna do like colorful arrangements. Like I wanna plant these butterfly bushes in for sure, but I want this to mostly be filled with annuals, like things that I just like pop in for color, like for the season. We will see. But over here, I'm gonna have to do some cutting because this uh, vertical board is just a spare piece of board that I had from doing the fence. So it needs to be trimmed and so does this one. For some reason, I thought that this was a 12 foot side, but it's actually like 10 feet based on the fact that there's two feet right here. <laughs> but anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm at a good stopping point. Like I could drill in right now, but I'm just really hot and I wanna go inside. So I'm gonna do that. 